Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to World Talks here on TVP World, where every word matters. I'm your host, Benjamin Lee, and please join me and my guests on this exclusive interview. Today, we are examining the ripple effects of EU and U.S. politics on other regions of the world, focusing on the South Caucasus region. How will significant, well, significant political shifts in the European Union and the approaching U.S. presidential election affect countries like Azerbaijan? Despite a political shift in the EU parliament, Ursula von der Leyen remains president, maintaining a semblance of uh, continuity in the EU policy. Meanwhile, in the United States, polling puts former President Trump ahead as the election approaches. Will the dynamics of EU and U.S. politics significantly impact the South Caucasus region? Joining us on TVP World to explore these dynamics is uh, Shala Kazimova, Center for Eastern European Studies from University of Warsaw. Hello and welcome Hello. to TVP World. Thank you for um, uh, inviting. So the most immediate question, of course, everyone is burning to know is how might a potential Trump presidency affect the region going forward? So if coming from a South Caucasus perspective, do you think that a possible Trump presidency will have a significant impact? Uh, even before uh, Russian invasion in Ukraine, we, ca we could um, analyze and compare the Democrats or Republicans' attitude or the South Caucasus. Um, the United States, together with France and Russia, uh, created um, a CE MIS group with, uh, dealt with uh, settlement of uh, Nagorno Karabakh uh, conflict, and as we know, we, with zero um, effects. And in 2020, Azerbaijan um, um, launched um, offensive, military offensive, uh, which ended with the victory of Azerbaijan and uh, took um, the control over um, the majority of the territory of. Um, uh, Nagorno Karabakh, and um, it was uh, at the end of for uh, Trump um, um, administration. And that uh, time, um, uh, during one of the debate, Biden dem uh, demanded from Trump be most um, most um, uh, active and put pressing on Azerbaijan. Uh, but what was he? His reaction when in 2023 um, uh, Azerbaijan um, restored control uh, over entire Nagorno Karabakh, the reaction was completely different um, than he um, declared um, uh, during his uh, uh, campaign. And I think that um, the United States um, has been changing the perception of Azerbaijan during three years. I can, get, uh, I, I can give you uh, some uh, example of it. Um, uh, on um, some, uh, several um, days ago, uh, during the opening of uh, uh, Caspian oil and gas exhibition, uh, there, they were read uh, the letter of, sent by uh, Biden in which he expressed that Azerbaijan in, uh, uh, plays an important role uh, in the um, in the world in um, uh, the world meaning in terms of energy security uh, security and um, he also wrote that uh, the United States will uh, look forward to cooperate with Azerbaijan. Also, of course, he expressed that uh, United States will do its best to uh, to help in negotiation between Azerbaijan and um, uh, Armenia. Uh, and you know, I think that in a current um, uncertain uh, situation. Um, for our president of uh, United States, um, it will be Trump or Biden. Um, for United States, much more important their um, their attitude uh, to China, and uh, this is uh, very important. China is a country that controls so-called um, critical uh, minerals, mm -hmm. uh, which is needed in, um, in uh, production. Um, new technology, IT technology. What I, uh, why I mention about it? Because um, on um, on um, June sixth or 
t up to a they were t t Congress and uh, no, it's not Congress and um, summit of uh, the leaders of uh, countries Turkey uh, organization um, um, Turkish state organization member um, that were signed uh, declaration Karabakh declaration which are uh, envisage um, to construct and to develop to construct Transcaspian uh, corridors uh, infrastructure uh, that um, which will help uh, um, to connect Chi Chinese uh, Central Asia countries, Caucasus and Europe. What I want to say Azerbaijan um, now is the country which is you know developing from small post-soviet country into a country that can be transport some winter exit to uh, Central Asia uh, countries yeah. which is alternative to mm -hmm. China right. why because these countries um, are rich both in energy resources also in uh, mentioned by me, are critical minerals. Right. Uh, so, um, I think that for Azerbaijan now there is no big difference who will be president of um, the United States, Biden or uh, Trump. But of course, when it um, when we t we're talking about the Armenia Azerbaijan um, uh, conflict, I think that for Armenia it um, it has some difference because. There, if, um, it will be in interest in Armenia to um, conclude a um, peace agreement uh, in terms of uh, Democrat office because they are um, unlike um, Democrats, unlike Trump, uh, shows um, in terms of declaration, you know. Yeah. Um, more interest in uh, in world beyond American interest. Right. So the way I understand it, like you mentioned, uh, perhaps the U.S. presidential candidate don't have a direct impact on countries like Azerbaijan, but may have a domino effect depending on how they interact with China. And we also mentioned earlier about uh, energy and bringing energy sec uh, security through oil and gas. But one of the candidates in the United States, being uh, President Trump, he, he did say that you know, once he get into office, first thing he does, drill, baby, drill. And of course, mm -hmm. that's going to perhaps change the dynamics of energy production in the United States. Do you think that might introduce a possibility where uh, countries like Azerbaijan gets left behind because their uh, emphasis of the energy is not as strong as before? Our, but you know, Azerbaijan also now deal with production green energy, and we know that um, our um, European Union also invest in um, our, uh, in production of gr uh, green energy. In uh, 2022, um, uh, we'll hold some summit and um, uh, document um, called strategy partnership documents, if I'm not mistaken, and um, this document. Um, uh, help um, you, you know uh, will help uh, will help to um, transport green energy made by Azerbaijan uh, from Georgia uh, Hung Romania and Hungary uh, and um, uh, the, the meeting during which this uh, agreement w was uh, signed Madame von der Leyen um, uh, took participant uh, take part in it and say that it is part of our strategy uh, becoming more um, independent from our, um, uh, Russia. Yeah energy supply. So I think that Azerbaijan w m d tried to show that it's not only country that have, uh, has gas and oil, but also is uh, the country that building a network of ties mm -hmm. uh, in the region. Uh, as I said, between uh, um, uh, Central Asia countries and uh, Europe. All right. Uh, you just mentioned green energy a, a bit earlier, and also uh, Ursula von der Leyen did uh, kind of make that a very big part of her strategy going forward. And of course, we do know that she has been re-elected as the president. So, uh, do you think that with the next uh, five years down the line, Azerbaijan will be uniquely positioned to provide these sort of green energy trans transformation, and therefore become uh, having better tie with the European Union? Mm -hmm. 
you know, I think that um, yes, Azerbaijan uh, will. Why? Uh, that's why I think so. Uh, the war, the, um, the Russian war against Ukraine was some kind of uh, game changer because this war made Azerbaijan more important for Europe. Um, um, and um, in, in, for Europe, not only for Azerbaijani oil and gas resources, but it's a unique geographic position between West and East. Um, uh, it's, Western its roots. So it's very important for Europe uh, to uh, invest in infrastructure that will help not only um, uh, Azerbaijan or, or Europe. For example, I, I can give some example for you that Azerbaijan export uh, gas to eight countries, six of them, six of them are European countries. And this transporting gas um, uh, does not look like uh, just going from one point to another point. Right. There are several countries. Mm -hmm. There are, are to uh, take a um, uh, role in it, in, in, like countries transporting. So it's also enriching themselves um, on this. For example, Georgia, and there is um, uh, an agreement. What I um, uh, mentioned, um, agreement on um, strategic uh, partnership between uh, Europe and Azerbaijan, signed by Azerbaijan, Georgia, uh, Hungary, and um, Romania. Romania envisages um, uh, constructing um, energy power line uh, on the sea that uh, supply um, uh, electricity uh, to Moldova, to Western Balkans, uh, and it will help Ukraine to restore if, uh, inf infrastructure. Right, so like you mentioned, this is like a very critical juncture when it comes to the transportation of energy that did, uh, does put Azerbaijan in a very kind of special geopolitical position. And so just to round things up, would you see like the importance of this region and specifically Azerbaijan becoming more prominent going forward, even if the war concludes? Our earth, um, I think that uh, now the you know, weakening the position of Russia um, uh, did um, Azerbaijani position more, much more stronger uh, because it's uh, Azerbaijan of ties, as, as I mentioned, with uh, countries um, from Central Asia and the South Caucasus, the biggest, biggest or largest, or largest um, uh, country. Um, and one problem that Azerbaijan uh, had for uh, 30 years, it's Nagorno-Karabakh um, conflict, but now Azerbaijan uh, claimed that the war is over, mm. and now uh, we are beginning the new era right. of reconstruction and the new era of the opening um, new ways uh, transporting uh, uh, infrastructure, uh, transporting from uh, um, east to West. Right. So definitely a new page in this history might be written as we take a look at the situation unfold. Thank you so much for your input and insight. Really appreciate it. And thanks for being with us on Thank TV4 World. Much. Thank you. And thank you for watching. This concludes this edition of World Talks here on TVP World. But for more news, update and commentary, please stay tuned to TVP World.